Thomas and the Road Train Written and told by Kiefer Adams The Fat Controller had something special planned for the holiday season. He had brought a road train from the mainland. Her name was Beatrice. She was painted orange with yellow stripes and also came with three coaches, which were covered on rainy days. Beatrice may look like a steam engine, but she travelled on the road and would usually bring holidaymakers to the seaside towns of Tidmouth, Arlesborough and Normby. Everyone knew Beatrice was coming because they heard her little whistle as she arrived to take them to their seaside destinations. But a few of the engines were annoyed about Beatrice's appearance. One afternoon, Thomas brought James's coaches to the yard. James had just topped up with coal and was feeling annoyed. Whatever will they think of next? he complained. What do you mean? asked Thomas. That road train, grumbled James. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It looks ridiculous. Her name is Beatrice, said Thomas, and she's become very popular with the holiday makers. Driver calls her a dotto train. Dotty train, more like, huffed James. You wouldn't see me on the road with tyres instead of my fine wheels. Thomas didn't want to argue and huffed away before James could complain even more. Later on, Thomas was travelling on his branch line with Annie and Clarabel. He felt much better. Anything was better than listening to James moaning and bickering all the time. Thomas then had to stop at a signal and he was very surprised to see Beatrice on the road next to him. Beatrice looked very unhappy. Steam was leaking everywhere and she looked as if she was in great pain. Are you okay? asked Thomas. My radiator burst, Beatrice sighed. I've been meaning to get it fixed before I came to Sodor, but no one had time to mend me. What about your passengers? asked Thomas. Oh, Bertie came and collected them ten minutes ago said Beatrice. I've got no way to get to the works. I'll help you, said Thomas. I'll alert the next station. And Thomas did just that as his signal changed. Beatrice hoped that Thomas would come back. But of course, as everyone knows, Thomas was an engine who would always keep his word. Before long, Thomas pulled into the last station of his branch line. He was very thankful that the fat controller was on the platform. Thomas, he boomed, you're two minutes late. Sorry, sir, Thomas panted. It's Beatrice. She's broken down. I see, said the fat controller. We have to help her, sir. She's important to the holiday makers. You're quite right, Thomas, agreed the fat controller. Leave Addie and Clarabel here and go and fetch a flat truck and crane at once. Percy will take over your next train. Thomas was quickly uncoupled from Annie and Clarabel and set off to the rescue. In no time at all, he found a flatbed and crane and went back to Beatrice. Beatrice was delighted when Thomas returned, but she was a little nervous about being loaded on the flat truck. What about my coaches? she wailed. Don't worry, said Thomas. A breakdown lorry's been called to take him back to the yard. Beatrice was pleased at this. Soon Thomas was on his way with Beatrice on his flatbed. They even passed James through the junction and the red engine had to stare twice, thinking that Beatrice was actually on the rails. But soon Thomas arrived at the works with Beatrice. The workman promised to start work on her engine at once. Thank you, Thomas, smiled Beatrice. Thomas beamed. He was more than happy to help. A few weeks later, Thomas and James were resting near Norumby Beach. They were just about to leave when they heard a familiar whistle. But it wasn't that of an engine. It was Beatrice. She pulled up with her three coaches packed to the brim with holidaymakers. But Thomas noticed that there was something different about her. 
Have you had an overhaul? Thomas asked. You might say that, Beatrice chuckled. Because of my radiator, they had to give me a completely new design. I feel like a new road train. You look amazing, confessed James. I'm sorry that I teased you and said you were, you know. Oh, that's all right, smiled Beatrice. I'm just happy to continue my services for your railway. Beatrice continued to work on the Fat Controller's roads for the rest of the summer season. The engines were sorry when it was time for her to leave, but Thomas and James hoped that next summer Beatrice the road train would return to the island and provide more summer trips for the holidaymakers of the island. <laughs>